When farming for leads and acquiring good deals to wholesale and flip, no one knows the value of homes and what buyers want better than expert real estate agents that specialize in those neighborhoods. In fact, on today's case study, you're gonna see an agent who saved me from doing a bad deal. Get ready to look over my shoulder and watch me get real estate agents to analyze my deals coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Quick Start Kit with everything you need to flip your first house in 30 days or less. Download it now at myquickstartkit.com. If you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com and this channel is all the ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. Some of the leads I get are in markets I'm very familiar with, so analyzing the deal is very easy since I know the values like the back of my hand. But I also wholesale and flip houses remotely anywhere in the US, so I often get deals in neighborhoods that I am unfamiliar with. The same thing will unavoidably happen to you if you're a new wholesaler and you don't yet know your market, or if you get a lead in a new neighborhood that you don't know yet. Fortunately, having done thousands of deals, analyzing deals is second nature, and I encourage you to put in the effort into learning how to master the skill of comping properties and running the wholesaling and flipping formula. In fact, I've done several videos covering this topic, and I'll put a link in the description below to a playlist of over 15 videos, all covering how to analyze deals. On this video, I wanna show you my three-step process to get a local expert real estate agent to analyze your deals for you. And I'm gonna show you using a real life deal I'm working on right now in Fort Worth, Texas that was brought to me by one of my finders. So in a minute, we're gonna to cut to a live call where you'll see that in action because nothing teaches better than seeing it real time on real deals. But before we do that, I wanted to let you know that I'm always looking for good deals that I can fix and flip and it doesn't matter where they are in the US. So if you'd like to learn how you can be a finder and submit deals to me where I'll pay you $10,000 for every deal that meets my criteria, then go to my10kcheck.com to register for a free training. Step one to getting a real estate agent to analyze your deals is to first find a local real estate market expert. Now this is really important. Not all agents are created equal. Some know what they're talking about and some don't have a clue. You have to make sure you're talking to an expert in that neighborhood where you have a deal. Now the way I handle this is very simple. Once you get a contract on a deal and after you've done your own comps and your own analysis, during your due diligence period, call up a local brokerage in the area and ask for the top selling agent in that office. Now this is something all brokerages keep track of. Once you get on the phone with that agent, tell them you are an investor and that you have a deal under contract to purchase that you are considering buying and you're in your due diligence phase and that if you do decide to move forward and buy the property, then after it's fixed up, you're gonna need a listing agent to help you resell it. That will get their attention. But then tell them, before I can really think about that, I would like your help to verify my numbers on this deal. Are you open to taking a look at it with me? Now what you're implying is that you're interviewing for your list agent if you decide to fix and flip it. And FYI, this applies to wholesalers as well because you could refer that agent to your cash buyer to use. So don't commit to relist with them or anything at this point, but ask them if they're willing to take a look at your deal and go over some numbers with you on the phone. Once you find a top agent willing to help you, step two is to ask them to help you understand the after repair value of the home. I simply ask, if I fix up this home, what do you think I can resell it for? Ask if they will do what's called a comparable market analysis or CMA basically run comps for you. Now you can do this yourself on Zillow or Redfin, or if you have my free comp tool, just go to compmydeal.com, but the MLS has the most filters and the most accurate data and every detail imaginable, which is especially critical in non-disclosure states like Texas or New York, where info is limited on the public sites. When asking an agent to provide comps, don't let them do it without direction. Tell them the specific criteria or filters you're looking for. Give them the cross streets for just your neighborhood. Give them a square foot range, basement and garage, and any other filters that might be relevant, like bedrooms and baths, lot size, year built, etc. On my deal in Fort Worth, Texas, I found a market expert willing to help me on my deal 
Take a listen to how I explain to the agent my comp criteria. I'm taking a look at comps. Because it's non-disclosure there, it's hard to comp on Zillow because it doesn't show all the information. Uh -huh. um, I've got like a list of properties in that neighborhood that I think are very similar. I saw the CMA you put together, but that's um, a little broad for me. Like I, I'd like to stay just in that like little forest park area. If you could just stay within, like I'm looking at the map right now, you know, not cross any of those main roads. So, so basically, so don't cross Crail Lake. Don't go down past the freeway down there. Yeah. And then don't cross uh, Hewlin. Yeah. And then south of Bel Air, Bel Air Berry or whatever that road is up there. Yes, of course. I won't go there. So stay inside there. And then I want to just be looking at ranches, like no new construction. And then like for a filter, let's do like minimum 2000 maximum. I don't know, 3,500 just to see what falls in that range. For square footage? Yeah. Okay. You know, it has to have a garage. And then we're not on a basement, are we? No. So then no, does anything have a basement or nothing? Not in this area. Yeah, so then don't worry about that. Can you do a filter for, I don't know if it matters, but like brick or no? I think um, they're I all think kind of brick. They all look kind yeah. of brick. I think with the map that, that we just outlined, they're gonna all be brick. I can throw, I can, I can manually look at it and throw them out if they're not, but like, okay. not, there's not gonna be many. That area is mostly brick. And are there any other redeeming qualities about ours? Like I think the lot size is normal. It has a um, two story, I, I, it looks like a barn. Yeah, I, I see the pictures, yeah. It fits perfectly back there and that's a bonus. It is across the street from the park, so it has easy access to the Trinity Trails. That's a bonus. Okay. But those are all, those aren't things we can filter. I'm just thinking, are there any filters that we want to exclude? Days on market, you'll give me that, right? The what? Days on market, and then only go back, only go back a year. Okay, you want me to go back one year? Yeah, just one back. year. Okay. Yep. So it's just a simple conversation where I'm explaining all of the filters I want to see so that I'm just looking at the most relevant comps. Now, let me show you one reason why having a market expert can really help you analyze your deal and why that's so valuable. On her own, she brought up another filter or criteria that I didn't even catch since I'm new to that particular market, and that was the elementary school. This area has two different elementary schools, and one of them is much more desirable than the other and has a huge impact on home values. Take a listen. The other factor that would be a filter is this elementary school. Elementary school is a big deal out there. Mm -hmm. Does that cross in those boundaries I gave you? Yes. Okay, so let's make sure we stay in the same elementary school. Okay. Definitely, yep, thank you for pointing that out. What school are we in? West Cliff. And that's less desirable than which one? Tanglewood. Oh, Tanglewood. So Tanglewood, is a, is a, you get a premium for that? Yes. And West Cliff, not so much. Elementary's the big deal, and buyers know it over there. Yep. So we're in West Cliff, not Tanglewood. That's a big deal. What's your take? What do you think this will resale for? Given the right remodel, you could look at the 420 range. Okay, you don't think it'll hit, it could get as high as five? I don't. If we were in Tanglewood, then you think that could push the 500? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, thank you for telling me that. that that's important to know, because uh, it makes a difference for sure. Now, did you catch that? If my deal was in Tanglewood Elementary School, I could push 500K on the resale, but since I'm in West Cliff Elementary, the ARV is only 425. That's a $75,000 difference in value just because of the elementary school, but that's how real estate works. The value is based on location. This is something that I could have easily overlooked by not being intimately aware of that market and who knows better than a local active top selling real estate agent. Just that information alone saved me from overvaluing my deal. Now step three is to discuss the rehab items. So the next thing I like to ask top selling agents is their opinion on the rehab. Now rehabbing is not created equal. Every deal is different. Every situation is different because every house is different. Don't automatically assume that you have to do a full blown rehab or that you can just get away with doing a carpet and paint rehab. You have to find out the right level of rehab. Listen to how I talk to her about it. 
what would you say would need to be done on the rehab to hit hit that four and a four and a quarter, four and a half number? Both bathrooms remodeled, painted the flooring, and remodeled the kitchen. So basically, kitchen, bath, carpet, paint. Yeah. So then that would be the remodel, and then that, and you think that would get it to like the, maybe the four and a quarter? Yes. Yeah, four twenty-five ARV. Okay. Well, that really helps me a lot, Angela. Thank you for your time. So after reviewing with her what needs to be done on the rehab, I decided to go with a $35,000 rehab budget. Why 35,000? Because I know my rehab numbers, but to make this really easy for you, be sure to get my free comp tool with built-in deal analyzer. Now what's so cool about that tool is it calculates the rehab budget and all of the numbers for you in an instant. Just go to compmydeal.com to get that for free. Now all in all for this deal to work, I need to buy it for 260 and I currently have the contract for 295. My biggest error was using 500 for the ARV instead of 425 because I did not understand the impact of the elementary schools. This is why I always get a due diligence clause on my contracts and that is why I always do a deep dive on the due diligence and part of that process is really understanding your market and the best way to get a crash course on your market is utilizing a top agent following the three-step process I outlined on this video. So since I'm off on my purchase price, now I'm in the process of renegotiating my contract with the seller. So if this video helped you understand how to use local active expert real estate agents to help you analyze your deals, leave a comment and say, Jerry, thank you for sharing your wisdom. You are a flipping genius. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the number one channel on YouTube for all things wholesaling and flipping, and I'll see you on the next video.